All right. So let's talk about the seven habits of a highly effective technician. Okay. So it begins each day with the attitude. I'm professional and my focus is always to do the best I can, no matter the challenges I face today. I have to tell you, that's one of the things I ran into. Okay. When I was a maintenance technician, I had to keep that in my head. No matter how bad it got, you know, I had to keep my focus and get a positive attitude. Seeks knowledge to grow their ability to be the best they can, be it through industrial repair books, online webinar like upkeep, vendor technical, you know, webinars. Vendors have webinars they have all the time. They're free. Books like Audell um, Mechanical Trades Pocket Handbook. I had that book, you know, when it first came out. I still have it. I tell you, I use it many times over the years. Industrial machinery repair, et cetera. There are many books out there you can use. Free vendor information. You know, they're always sharing their knowledge. I like bringing vendors in. Like, if you got a vendor that you buy lubrication from, you say, that's a salesperson. I know, but they know lubrication well. They've been in enough places. They know what's right and what's wrong. Say, so, hey, just come in and give my guys a 15-minute talk about you know, how we should be using a lubricant, whether it's hydraulics or grease or whatever that is. And there's all kinds, of V-belts and so on. Toolbox talks. If you go to my website, worldclassmaintenance.org, you know, you can download my toolbox talks. They're single point lessons I mentioned earlier. And then, you know, the seven habits. One of them is to perform all maintenance act activities utilizing repeatable procedures. This is one people kind of, choke up on, to minimize human-induced failure. I said, you know, I've had maintenance managers tell me, so well, you understand, my guys know their stuff. I mean, they've been doing this for 20 years. I said, do you have any failures? Yeah, we have failures. I mean, every place has failures. And I start talking to maintenance technicians and said, you know, do you always do everything the same way every time? And they're like, uh, yeah. No, really, do you? I mean, last night you had too much to drink, you come in in the morning, or you got too much coffee that morning, you had a problem with your spouse that night or that morning, come to work, your head's not right. Procedure puts your head synchronized to follow procedure step by step. What I require my guys to do and maintenance supervisor or maintenance manager, they initialed each step in the, whatever they were doing, whether it's PM or corrective maintenance. So have a positive attitude, no matter how difficult you may have tried to affect, you know, a tech's attitude. And if a, pet, if a t patch is required on a rush or emergency job, they always write a corrective maintenance work order so the equipment can be restored at, at a later date. And if they observe equipment not performing the specifications or operator having a problem, they notify the supervisor of the problem immediately. You know, that's a big deal. Walk by a problem and not notify the supervisor, the maintenance supervisor. That's a problem. Perform preventive maintenance at a controlled experiment. We put equipment in a control state and we do things to it to allow it to give us the results we get. 